by trying to solve a problem and I think we got it we made homemade feeders for the quails these are one dollar Tupperwares from Dollar Tree you gotta love Dollar Tree we drilled let me see one and a quarter inch holes you need a hole you need the hole saw and you need the drill like anybody on here actually has a quail but, still. but um what you call it well some of you do we put holes in it my son came up with a good idea for this one that i wish i would have thought of i should have drilled three holes left one side what you call it closed so my wife can fill it and then roll it this way and flip it upside down because this side is wider than this side so we keep it more stable but whatever they're a dollar I'll get another one and then we have this one which is a little bit stronger plastic this one cracked though on me got messed with it, whatever but it doesn't matter the idea with these is with the normal feeder where's that feeder at that you took away bring that feeder over here the why oh today's program is brought to you by Creolina if you got animals you gotta have this but use it outdoors this is the regular feeder well this is where it holds the feed you flip it upside down and it has a plate underneath it well the quail come up to the plate and they peck and they throw all the food back because they scratch just like chicken so we got about out of a 50 pound bag we get about 30 pounds on the floor so the idea with these is they got to stick their head in they can't get their feet in there but they can eat as long as they can't get their feet in it, they're not gonna scratch it out. So this is this is for the bigger cage. This one's got three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten can eat at a time. Four can eat at a time. And this is gonna be for the baby one. Four can eat at a time. Alright? This has been brought to you, like I said, by Creolina. Get rid of that stank ass smell. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Having fun with the boys.